ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Yoshi's Story on Nintendo 64. In the last one, we went through page 3, the summit, where we fought Cloudjin, a little mini boss there, not very difficult at all, and then moved on to page 4, Jungle, where we were in the Piranha Jungle, filled with a bunch of Piranha Pests that made you tiny if they sucked you in with their long tongues like Yoshi has. Uh, but now we are in the ocean. Page 5 is called the ocean, although we're not really in the ocean at all. Basically, we're on dry land here, and as his name implies, this is Shy Guy's Limbo, in which you will see a bunch of Shy Guys in their nice Hawaiian skirts, just doing the limbo, basically moving the stick back and forth, playing how low can you go, and those sticks will hurt you if you run into it. But here we already have a heart fruit very early into the stage. I'm very surprised by that. A uh, one thing I failed to mention, and you'll see it right here. One thing I did fail to mention regarding the superpower. Um, if you are a bunch around the shy guys and you ground pound, they turn into the lucky fruit of the day. And we got Lakitus here dropping giant ass spikes on us. That's awfully rude of you, sir. But just like in regular Mario games, you can eat it. Eat Lakitu. <laughs> can you eat it? No, but uh, you can actually ride the cloud in this one. And I actually did. I actually pulled a dumbass in this one because uh, I actually am going backwards, in case you can't tell. But this is a little bonus section here. And this bonus game is a bit different. Uh, it's not like Stack the Melons or anything of the sorts, although that. Make sure it makes its appearance one more time. But first, jump from the starting line. Fly far and you'll win lots of melons. Basically, this is a test of how good can you fly. And you have to keep floating throughout the entire way without falling. As soon as you touch the ground, the number that you cleared is the number of melons that you get. And I'm not going to get very far with this one. I just say screw it because I know I messed up. And the Yoshis have different expressions, different sound expressions for however many melons. And when they get all the melons, it's like, boo -dee -dee -boo -boo, you know, and then it's like, Wah! Oh, you know, just like little cute things like that. I love it. I love this game. Very simplistic, very simplistic in design and in gameplay, you know. It doesn't offer a whole lot in terms of content, but hey, I had fun with this when I was younger. It was like, I was. Let me see, this came out in 98, so I was uh, probably 10, maybe 11 years old, depending on the release date. But, yeah, I was 10, 11 when this came out, and I just remember enjoying this, you know, from the start. That is a, like a, like a P-Switch. There you go, there's your heart. That's one. I do need one more in order to get the third stage for page six, which is our final. But here we are in the second portion of Shy Guy's Limbo bunch of bananas which are our lucky fruit of the run here water droplets making their returns from jelly pipe again you don't want to eat those they take away one petal of health not to my mistake wake up there we go you got the shy guy limo going on and you have a white shy guy in case you haven't seen this one before, if you don't know what they do, basically, I would need to go through the rest of the stage right now without dying, essentially. And we have a Lakito that throws down water here. The Shy Guy is very special in is that he can actually recover one of your fallen Yoshis from the castle. So as long as I make it through the rest of the stage without dying in any shape, way, shape, or form, Everything's golden. And I'm just riding the cloud here because there it is. There's the heart. Nice little signal there implicating, imp implying that the cloud's going to go away. So now that we've met the quota for the two hearts for the uh, for page six, let's just go ahead and just eat everything that we can here. I'm just taking the hits because, you know, the fruit's right there. They restore your health. Eat five more fruits so the Yoshis can grow happier. And that's... Uh, uh, Miss Warp number four. So five more fruits and then we'll be done here. And 
There we go. Really? I had to travel that damn far? Shit. I gotta remind myself when I do the stage four run just to make sure. Just eat the fruit along the way just in case. And we're done with the level. Page 5, Ocean. Let's see what the score is. 2,059. Add that to the rest of the scores we have so far, and it brings our current total to... 11,856. I have a good feeling that we're going to achieve a high score in this one. The sun was shining, so the Yoshis began to happily sing. Out came the Limbo Shy Guys, who kept the beat while the Yoshis danced. And the Yoshis did so with more grace than you expect from a dinosaur. The page turned, and the Yoshis grew happier. And here we are. Page 6, the finale. And I almost had a heart attack in this one because, as you can see, stage 3 is obscured by the building in the back. And I thought I missed a heart in the last one. So, aside from having a heart attack, but we're going to show off what the Shy Guy does right here. By the way, well, actually, no, not by the way, but yeah, we got our pal Green Yoshi back, and guess what? We are in the ghost house. Walk softly around these ghosts. He won't find you for quiet. So we have this ghost here that's blindfolded for some reason, and I think those are supposed to be earmuffs, or they're just ears. I can't tell, honestly, I and mean, they're booze. Why the hell would they need it anyway? But holy shit, they got some bitchin' teeth. Like, that, that shit can, like, eat your ass alive. Holy shit. Yeah, but you have to walk softly around them because it'll trigger them. <laughs> just like some people on Twitter. And, uh, you know, they'll just chase after your ass. They'll go after your ass. Alright. And this stage, you kind of have to be careful. This is a bit of a... I wouldn't say puzzler, but there are, like, different sections, different unique elements of the stage itself in which you have to go commute through pipes, go through certain doors. There's different multiple pathways that you have to go through in order to in order to make sure that you can cover the entire stage. Well, we're done with this first section here. And coming up... We have all these ghosts. These ghosts are going to be plastered throughout the entire level, by the way. So there's no way that you'll be able to avoid them if necessary. Well, you can't avoid them, but... Yes, <sighs> you know what I mean. And then we hit that switch there. We want to climb up. We want to follow those. Hit that again, just in case. You see that door on the left uh, signify with a keyhole there? There's also one on the right. So if you want to scour this entire area, you need to find two keys. But with that green pipe led us to another bonus game of Stack the Melons. And this Stack the Melons is different. Yeah, you see? Doesn't necessarily mean it's over, though. You just have to be able to balance seven melons while they're coming down slowly. And they start tilting on you, mind you. I'm not going to make this one anyways. But yeah, you just continue on here, and there's obstacles in the way. When it's like that, that is probably the most difficult bonus game. Or at least trying to get... that. In my opinion, that's the most difficult part of trying to go for an all-melon run, is that shit right there. But once you complete that section, it drops you down. A nice little cave system. You got a boo here. Regular boo, not like them boos that are covered up with a fucking blindfold or anything like that. 
and we are back in the section that we were in previously. So now we're gonna climb up the normal way. Thank you. Grab the apple, grab the melon. Beautiful. Keyhole door to the right. So there's two keys in this level you need to obtain. Now let's go to the door on the right up top. I forgot to get that. Probably had the key in there, who knows. And you have a little section. Reminds you a bit of all of Super Mario World with the boo levels and um, the Donut Plains, go uh, Donut Plains Ghost House. I almost said the go nut. Oh, Lord. English, how you speaks. But these little boos here, they will hurt you. You can use eggs to get rid of them to try to help clear a pathway. Or otherwise, they can almost knock you into there just like that. And, you know, trouble brews. Some more melons here. So that takes care of that little section there. Drops it right back in the underground cave. Once again. Go down the yellow pipe. Let's see where that leads. It leads to a key. One of the keys that you need to open one of those two doors. You do have to float your way up to it, which is a little annoying, but, you know, not, not a big deal, really. Again, you hold up to ascend higher when you're fluttering like that. And you have booze that turn into a block. A la Super Mario World as well. Not sure what I was thinking with that one, but okay. Now it's time to take the key, go into one of the doors. Since I overjumped on the... Since I overjumped the left one. <laughs> yeah, they don't stop either. They keep going after you. And you have this, what's considered the last portion of the stage. Symbolized by... Miss Warp there, number four. And it's a bit dark in here. You only have a couple of glimmers of light. Don't eat the black shy guys because they will hurt your health. And since it's dark in here, and I couldn't see very well on the Wii U gamepad that I was playing on, uh, yeah, the, the darkness can obscure some obstacles. Five more fruits to go. But the darkness can obscure some obstacles and some hurtful obstacles that are in the way, like with those uh, shy guys carrying those uh, giant axe uh, spike boulders or something, or however you call it. I don't know what it's called exactly. But we're just going to break these blocks here. You can do that with, with some eggs. Get it. There we go. Watch out for the boo. Watch out for the boo behind you. The sign says go down, Yoshi. What are you doing, sir? Nope. Get out, get out the way. Get out the way. Luckily, though, the melon was there. Otherwise, I would have been screwed. Again, but lucky fruit. Full health restore. Nothing to worry about. And I believe those spikes are instant kill. Uh, don't want to test that theory out for sure, so I'm just, we're just going to go with it. With the drops for the shy guys here... It goes all the way down, so you have to make yourself, you have to make your way left and right through each obstacle, hoping that those boulders don't drop down on you. But now that that section is out the way, drop back down, go back up the pipe, get some coinage, because this is a different underground section apparently. Down we go. Yeah. 
Beautiful. One more fruit. And my jump was eaten. We're already in a castle, though. How is it that the the toadies are able to take Yoshi to the castle? Never mind. It's just a video game. But we bring back our pal, Red Yoshi. And we just need one more fruit, which is up above. So we just have to trek our way up and be careful along the way because of those freaking ghosts. Take a slow method to collect the eggs like that so that way that you don't set them off because if you try to do rapid fire, you will set them off and they'll start chasing you. Like, there we go. Nice. Should be one more up here. Yep. Here we go. Final battle time. What have we here? Mario's little pet. I have pets too. Let's all play together. Place nice, you wimpy pet. I hate guests who throw bombs at my ceiling. That is supposed to be Baby Bowser, the same Baby Bowser from uh, Yoshi's Island. Because I believe this is still in continuity with that Yoshi timeline. And the first half of the fight, really just toss a couple of eggs. Make sure that reticle does hit all the way up top. And watch out for the spikes when they fall below. And watch out for Baby Bowser when he drops, too. You do have the Super Happy Tree right there filled with fruits. Uh, but the fruit is limited. So you want to be careful and take your time. First half of the fight over. Here's my poem. I'm the king, you dino guy. I'll smash you now. So say goodbye. This time you need the bombs to blow them up just like there. Throw another bomb. bomb Three shots will do it. And for some reason that didn't hurt him. He still had, I guess he still has iframes going on. And Yow! This hurts. I hate your puny little Yoshis. I'll give you back your super stupid tree. Besides, this fruit tastes rotten to me. That's it. I wonder what would happen if I was down to one health and that bomb, the bomb hit Baby Bowser, but also hit me at the same time like it did there. But yeah, he's crying. He's crying. He's living in his castle. Oh, poor thing. But right now, for finale, Yoshi's mood... 1774 that should that should definitely knock the high score yeah it will current total of 13,630 a new best just gonna input my name in here real quick and for the final time for the stage three run we got a story to read New to the world, the babies didn't know much, but they knew to keep trying. With teamwork, the Yoshis could find a tree at the end of the book. Shy Guys tried to keep them down. By riding on clouds, the Yoshis happily escaped. The Yoshis decided to take a shortcut through a pipe that went underground. Below, it was dark and damp, and the creatures that lived there were ugly and slimy. They were scared, but they crawled through. What could be at the other end? The air was nippy in the winter wonderland, and the cold Yoshis got lost. Trudging through the snow, they stumbled upon cold-hearted Cloudjin. Shivering from the cold, not from fear, 
the Yoshis defeated him. The Yoshis knew the woods, but they had never seen a place like the jungle. For the first time, the Yoshi saw piranha plants, the kings of this jungle. One plant could swallow the Yoshis whole, so they left the jungle in a hurry. The sun was shining, so the Yoshis began to happily sing. Out came the Limbo Shy Guys who kept the beat while the Yoshis danced. And the Yoshis did so with more grace than you expect from a dinosaur. At long last, the Yoshis reached the final page and the creepy castle. The castle was haunted by ghosts, but the Yoshis won this spirited fight. And Bowser was no match for the Yoshis either. What a big baby! All's well that ends well. The Yoshi has broken Bowser's spell. The super happy tree was back. They jumped for joy with their fruity snack. And the Yoshis lived happily ever after. That's gonna do it for the stage three run of Yoshi's Story. Next time I come back to this, it won't be a year, but there's only one more set of stages to go. And that's a stage four run, and we'll be completely done with the game. So until then, do like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you have yourselves a fantabulous day. Love, peace, and chicken grease to all. And remember, this is Adrian reminding you to help control the pocket monster population. Have your Pokemon spader neutered. May you all have yourselves a beautiful evening.